Hi everyone. In this video I'd like to show you how to work with a compressor. I have this track. And I'm going to show you how to use a compressor with the kick drum of this track. I edited a little bit so you've got loud kick drums and softer kick drums. And for this tutorial I'm going to use the Waves R Comp mainly because it has such a clean layout and that makes it easy to show you what a compressor does. So what is a compressor? Well, basically it's an automated volume control. If the sound gets too loud, the compressor turns it down. What too loud is, is controlled with the threshold and how much the volume is turned down is controlled with the ratio. If I set this to three, that means it's set at a ratio of three to one. So audio that is three dB over the threshold gets reduced to one dB. Now, the first thing we do is set the threshold. I want to reduce the loudest peaks of the audio to make the kick drum sound more even. So I'm going to set the threshold level just below the loudest peaks. You can also see it on the meter, only the loudest peaks get reduced. But if we listen to the sound, it's not quite level yet, so let's try a little higher ratio value, so the compressor has to work a little harder. I'm gonna tweak the threshold level a little bit. And now it's pretty much level. At this point, you can have a look at the attack and the release settings. With the attack, you say when the compressor starts working after the audio has passed the threshold level. And with the release, you tell it to stop working after the audio has dropped below the threshold level again. May seem like a subtle detail to worry about, but you can really shape the sound with this. To show you, I'm going to use very heavy compression settings. Now, if I use a very fast attack time, the first transient of the kick drum will be compressed immediately. And this will create a dull sound. If I use a slower attack time, the first transient is untouched, and only the later part of the kick drum is compressed. And this sounds much better. Now you can hear the definition in the kick drum again. So, with this setting you hear the click of the kick, and with this setting you don't. Okay, so we're using the slower attack time setting. And now we're going to look at the release. With a short release time, you can create a pumping effect, because the compressor stops working very quickly after the level has gone below the threshold level. You can hear this best in the sound you hear after the kick drum in this recording. The level of that comes up really quickly. Sometimes this pumping effect is exactly what you want, but sometimes it's not. And a slower release time gives more natural results. So this is a little more even and the pumping effect is less. Now, when I use a too slow release time, the compressor is not recovered yet when the next kick already plays. And this creates a completely different sound again. So tweaking the attack and the release settings can really shape the sound. And if you're happy with your settings, set the threshold and ratio back to the more subtle settings, and you're pretty much done. Now, because the compressor is reducing the overall level when it's doing its job, you have a gain control here, also called makeup gain sometimes, to turn up the overall level again. The nice thing about a compressor is that it's not only an automated volume control, but it's also a great tool to color the sound. If you're interested, check out the tutorial Picking the Right Compressor on audiokickstart.com. In this tutorial, we're looking at what compressor you can pick to get a certain color. That's it. Thanks for watching. For more tutorials, go to audiokickstart.com.